Hello and welcome to this deployment session by me, Simon May, on deploying a Windows Store app with Configuration Manager 2012 SP1. It's a process known as deep linking a Windows Store application to a client. The first thing that I'm going to do is install uh, an application, in this case Skype, onto my reference computer. All I've done here is gone into the Windows Store on my reference computer, selected the application and started the installation off. We'll see that the installation progresses through quite nicely and then I'm just going to check out the user experience so that I know what it's going to look like at the end. So our app's completed installing. I'm going to switch back over to the start screen now so that I can go and launch the application. And having done that, we'll get to see that we see all of the usual user prompts that we'll see when we launch Skype for the first time. Do we want it to run in the background, etc. I'm now going to open up an administrative command prompt. I just type command into the search bar and then uh, launch that with administrative credentials. I'll have to enter my uh, administrator username and password in this case. And that's going to give me a command window into which I'm going to type winrm space quick config space hyphen force and that is going to just configure the machine to allow me to remotely manage my Windows 8 computer, something that Config Manager requires. Now I'm going to allow Config Manager to have a look at that machine and we're going to configure our deployment. Here I am inside of the Configuration Manager 2012 console. I'm going to go up to the um, home bar here and select create application from the ribbon. I'm then going to select that I want to use a Windows app from package from the Windows Store and I'm going to go and select my target machine to actually use as my reference computer. That's the one that we were on just a moment ago installing our Skype application. So after a few minutes, that's going to come back with a list of all of the apps that are installed onto our remote machine. I'm going to select the Skype application and click OK. And I'll click Next. That will bring the information into Configuration Manager for me. I'm now just going to customize that. I'm going to change the name to be Skype, as that is more meaningful to my end users. And I'm just going to change the manufacturer to be Microsoft. I'll click Next again having first selected any administrative categories that I want to place the software into. So we'll say next that will complete the process of bringing the application over into Configuration Manager. Of course, what doesn't happen is it doesn't download the whole application from the Windows Store, which is actually a deep linking process. So we're actually going to keep all of the information in the Windows Store, but we're just going to tell our clients that they need to install this software. I'll click close on this particular wizard and I now need to go and deploy the application out to my user base. So I'll select the Skype application. I then pop up select deploy from within Configuration Manager. And then I need to select the collection that I want to deploy the app to. Modern apps are deployed to our end users, not to our target computers. So I'm going to select a user group in to deploy this out to, if that's a user collection uh, that is actually based off of an Active Directory group and I will then select next having decided which particular group of users I want to use. I need to select the distribution points, part of the config manager infrastructure, that I want to use to deploy the application. We'll say next again and then I get to choose how I want the application installed. In this case I'm going to set the application as a required install. That will basically mean that uh, pop-up toasts will nag the user into installing the application and I'll also get information back to tell me whether or not my end users have installed this particular application. Next I say when I want to make the app available to my end users. I'm going to allow that to happen as soon as possible. And then finally I have to say what the user experience will be like inside of Software Center for our end user. We then get to decide any information that comes back uh, into our Operations Manager and Configuration Manager environment from a reporting point of view. We'll say next here and we'll just go through the summary and apply the, uh, the settings that we've made to this deployment. 
this uh, this particular app, the Skype app, is now available to our end users. So let's go and watch the app install on an end user's device, just so that we can watch that particular process run through. Here you can see I have another computer. It's not my reference computer anymore. And I'm logged onto this machine as a user, Alice. In the top right-hand corner, we've just seen a pop-up notification, a toast, to say that we have new software available. And we've clicked on that, opening up Software Center, which is one of our Configuration Manager components. Now we'll just click the Install button for the Skype application, and the app will start to install onto this machine. In fact, that's not what's going to happen. This is going to cause me to launch the Windows Store. Here we go. And I'm going to have to go into the store and actually click on the Install button in order to be able to complete the install process. That's because uh, modern apps require the user to have consented to their application installation before that process occurs. You'll have noticed there that we just had a toast appear that said that the installation is complete, even though the user has not yet been in and uh, clicked on the Install button. What will happen from a reporting point of view is we will only believe that the application has been installed when it has uh, completed the installation process and is available on the machine. If the user was to decide at this point they were um, they'd gone to do the installation, they hadn't actually clicked the install button, that they didn't want to go through with it, we would actually be notified that the application had not been installed as part of the overall process. Here we can see the Skype application downloading onto our end user's machine. And the installation has now completed successfully, so we'll go back over to the desktop, we'll spot the Skype application on the desktop, go and tap on that particular item so that we can launch the Skype application. From this point on, you'll see this is exactly the same process as when we installed the app on the reference computer at the beginning. It's going to allow us to uh, run Skype in the background if required, and it's going to come up and ask us for any necessary sign-on credentials. Hopefully this little video on installing uh, an application from the Windows Store using Configuration Manager 2012 has been useful. Hopefully it's shown you the experience. Please go away and download the Windows Server 2012, the System Center Configuration Manager 2012 evaluations to give this a try for yourselves.